Okay, hello again, YouTube people. Um, I was just uh, down in my shed, gonna practice using these um, water purifying tablets. Um, I think you have to try all these things before you need them, really, when you're in a desperate situation. So if I give it a go, it's uh, the chlorine tablet. You put one tablet per liter of water, and you get. Um, in the pack you get uh, 72 tablets and one this little filter thing which you should filter the water now I've had I got water this is rain water which I've collected in a bowl from the, yesterday um, and I straight I put I collected it in this large container first I strained it into a cup because I don't think I couldn't get the nozzle into there and then I've now I'm straining it again into a smaller cup. And there's got to be an easier way to do this. I haven't figured one out yet. And you say this is my first ever try at um, wa purifying water. It takes, seems to take a long time to filter through. And it's a matter of getting it all inside the, the bottle which I'm going to use to purify it. And the questions are, do I squeeze the thing to help it along? Do I let it do it naturally? And then obviously getting it into here, it's a message. That's what in it. Obviously, the bottle I would use, I have to get another bottle to have a bigger top, so maybe that could sit inside it, uh, make it a bit more convenient for filtering. There are particles, you can see there's obviously bits in the water. So the first question is, is that enough, is that clear enough water? It doesn't look very clear, a bit yellowy. And messy. So I'll just get some more water and we'll try some more. There we go. Oh. I've seen online lots of people talking about the how to purify their water. They never see them actually doing it and going through the process. So that would be a good video for me to see. There we go. Nearly a litre. Reason it just seems to come out everywhere. I'm getting bored of this now. Right. Chuck that out. So I'll, I guess I'll wash this out before I use it again. No bits in there, as I say. Like that. So, where's the tablet? Yeah. Maybe little tablets. One tablet. I'm lose the flipping top now. tablet in, give it a shake, and there you go, let it stand for 10 minutes, right, give me a chance to get 
of all this excess water. We don't want that. And while we're waiting for that to go, we'll uh, do another project. Time now to test the uh, container to see if it is waterproof. Sorry, fish. Floats. It's underwater and there's no bubbles. the paper and it's still perfectly dry apparently from what I've touched. So it's conclusive. It works. Okay, it's not 10 minutes yet. As you can see I haven't given up on my hobo stove. I'm trying the bigger tin so the flame has a, a more room to, de to develop. I don't know how, how it's going to work. It's worth a try. Um, now back to my tube. I've had some um, comments online, some good comments. Uh, it is waterproof. I put it in the pond and uh, no bubbles came out, so it should be alright. You see, it's a tube. And one of the suggestions was to use, put there, uh, well, I could store things in there anyway, but um, a collapsible fishing rod. Uh, this is a really cheap one, but has worked. I've only tried it the once. Take this cap off. And she's broken. And opens out. Uh, they can see that with a reasonably probably five foot long fishing rod. Okay for an emergency. It does fit in. I'd have to take this off. Which is uh, for some clips here. And we can put that in with the cap on. Like so, and clip, which seems to have broken, so we'll discard that. Is that it? And if this fits in, I'd be amazed. Bugger. Doesn't fit. No way, shape or form. Well, there you go. That was a short <laughs> thing. My fishing rod doesn't fit in there. Which would have been high. Could have, uh, if I used this as a sub hiding it somewhere in the woods where I would mind the bug out. But I have a fishing rod in there. Would be have been a good idea, really neat. But no, another fail. As, uh, as I say, that one is just a really emergency um, sort of thing I would use. I have got a much larger one, which I hope to take with me when I go back to Australia. Which is really a nice one. Proper cover on this, and this goes up to 12 feet. And proper grips for um, a much better quality reel, which uh, I've stored in this bag here. Just sort of my beginner's fishing kit, uh, fish knife. Got that in Australia. Uh, very cheap. It's, um, obviously, it floats reasonably in case you drop it in the water. Handy. A container for which will be for bait. The, the reel itself. It is quite a good one. Uh, what else is that? 
I haven't got this is not a complete kit, it's just a start kit, but various lead weights, sinkers, and pre set up um, fishing hooks. It's got the, the lead, the weight, the hook, so I can just connect these to the line at any time. They're not these ones haven't been done, but there's one, two, three, four ready to go. Be practicing over in here in Wales. So be ready. I want to go back to Australia. Like that. I say there will be other things added into it. And with that, put inside the. Um, where is it? The reason our things disappear. This and the kit all strapped in. I can tie that to the side of my backpack. Then when we go into the bush and things, that would be a good fun thing to do. Right, how's this water doing? A little bit better, I think. It might just work. I'll get back to you.